Uh, hopefully I can zoom in. Hopefully there's enough light. But they are, they are looking pretty rough here. So here we go. Hello, welcome back to Citizen Pew Garage. And in today's video, as you saw in the thumbnail and in the description, I'm going to be talking about fusible links. So on my Nissan hard body, if you didn't check it out, I did a video uh, on two things. I did a video on installing a battery tray with a uh, strap. And then I did a video on putting new uh, battery terminals on there. Well, in that process, I the uh, fusible link on the Nissan hard body went bad and now my headlights don't work and one of my blinkers doesn't work. So I'm hoping that the fusible link is for the head or is for the blinker as well. But I know it's for the headlights because this is my second Nissan hard body and I've had a problem with it before uh similar to this now the last nissan hard body i had there was still oem parts available but now there is not so i went on amazon and i found two different types i went ahead and ordered them both so i have a backup but uh i'll show you the type i'm going to put on there now and that is this style right here it looks almost identical to the original it's a you know plastic molded piece that was uh with the metal uh, ring on there that hooks right up to your battery terminal and then your two fusible links which has uh, Yep connectors on both ends and the connectors to hook up to the uh, wire harness. So there you go And these are the fusible links um, So yeah, if you're not familiar with fusible links, it's uh, it's not quite like a fuse. You can't um, just directly replace it with a fuse uh, because the fusible link is actually designed to uh it doesn't it doesn't blow instantaneously it's um not like like a fuse would it uh it'll actually give a little bit like you're gonna get a power surge a little extra current going through there and it won't break it's more of like a delayed break so i don't know i've heard of people on forums um you know replacing them with like a fast uh, or a slow acting fuse or something like that but these were available on Amazon, so I ordered it because, uh, yeah, it looks like almost a direct OEM replica, but it's not quite the same, but it's close. It's close. So the other set I ordered, which is very similar, but mounts to the battery differently, <clears throat> but I, bought, I ordered one of each just in case. But as far as the fusible links go, they look pretty much identical. You got one fusible link here and one here the and then the attachment instead of attaching it to the battery uh using the plastic piece the molded plastic piece with the uh the eye on it to directly uh, connect to it this one just has a, a lead right there that connects to it and then the wires going to the individual plugs so then these would plug into this that mounts to your battery and then the other end of these plugs into your wire harness so I ordered both on Amazon and I'll put the link to both in the uh, in the description um, <coughs> excuse me uh, they were they weren't that much I think one was 19 something and the other one was like 21 something so they weren't that far apart so anyhow uh, I'm gonna move the camera over here closer to the battery so you can see it we're gonna take the uh, existing one off and put the new one on and see if the lights turn on so all right, let me move that camera. All right, I think this is going to give the best view for this. So here is the fusible links right here. And these are the wire harnesses for them uh, or that they hook into. So I'm going to pull the wire harnesses apart first. And hopefully, hopefully they come apart smoothly. So that one did pretty easily. Yep. And then... Uh, I'm going to pull this one off and it looks like it. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see here. Where is its clip? There it is. Okay. Right there. Hopefully I didn't put that right in the way. All right. So you can still see it. Now, you know, this should all be zoomed in. There we go. All right. Yep, there looks like there's some corrosion on this one. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the plugs going to the wire harness are still good. Uh, man, they're looking pretty rough, pretty rough. 
We'll see though. We'll see. So, yep. Alrighty. <clears throat> I would hate to have to replace these here. So, all right. Let me get the light back up here. Now we need to take it off of this and that with the new battery terminals, I believe it was this one. Nope. Well, it's either this one or the one next to it. We'll take them both. Come on now. There we go. All right. All right. It was Ah, oh, I went with the wrong ones all together. Was it the bigger one? I didn't think it was, but maybe it was. Uh, Short-term memory. Yep, that's the one. All right. <clears throat> so, we will loosen this guy up. Like so. There we go. I don't want to lose this screw, that's for sure. Come on, come on. There we go. And it has a lock washer on it. And oh, lock washer is stuck to the terminal. Come on. All right, I'm gonna have to get a pair of needle nose to pull that off. And then we'll talk about this. I'll show you up close to these terminals, so. There we go. Got the lock washer off. All right. Let me show you these here. I don't know. Hopefully I can zoom in. Hopefully there's enough light. But they are they are looking pretty rough here. So yeah, that one especially. I don't know if you can see that, but anyhow, hopefully. Hopefully these uh the ends down here are not that bad they look bad they look bad but uh oh one of them isn't even used so on this plug here um it's only using two of the connectors because the other wire is hopefully not there on purpose hopefully that's a feature this truck didn't have this one, oh boy, they're looking really, really rough. Oh well, what can we do but try to put it on and see? Let me make sure I didn't put this, yeah, the light. All right, there we go. All righty, so we're going to put the fusible link uh, bracket on first, and then I'm going to plug it into these, and then plug it into these you know what um can i check continuity i should be able to plug these into this and check continuity to make sure these plugs are still good so we'll go ahead and get this attached first so all right get that lock washer on there put that in there and there we go Get it going. Nope, I'm gonna have to. That is not. Yeah, it's got a little bend over so you can attach a wire and it doesn't quite allow it to go flat, but I'm, I guarantee you, I guarantee you it'll go flat. It's just thin bent metal. We'll get it flush on there for sure. There we go. Oh yeah. All right, that is on there. So, let's see here. This one will go, that one has three. This one goes to this one. Well, I didn't think about it. I got to be able to check the other side of this for continuity and I don't know where the other sides pop out. So I guess we'll plug in and hope the lights come on.
Oh, that was easy. Okay, that one, there we go, there we go. Okay, now, which one goes where? Looks like this one goes in here. That's the bad thing is this is laid out a little difficult. There we go. And this one, probably gonna be better to work it under and plug it in. There we go. All right. Well, let's see if we can turn the lights on. I'm gonna move the camera. All righty. Sweet. Woo! Looks like that was the problem. All right, there you go, that fixed it. So that was the fusible link. Um, I'll leave the part numbers for both of these kits uh, in the description. And I would honestly suggest if you have a Nissan hard body and you order one of these kits because you need it, <clears throat> I would order two, right? Um, because I don't know how long they're gonna be available, honestly, you know. Um, and this thing, uh, my Nissan hard body is about, this one's about 14,000 miles from 300,000 miles. And I've been doing a lot of work to it. I'm gonna be uh, doing an engine flush here soon. And timing chain, I got new front suspension already to put on it. I wanna try to get another 100,000 miles out of this thing. So I have a second one, which I'll probably need. Um, you know, that battery, I don't know how good it is. It was on it when I bought it off the guy. So yeah, I would order two if you have any concern uh, uh, or if you have any desire to maintain and hold on to your Nissan hard body for any uh, length of time. So that's just my, my suggestion. So you can order two the same or order two that are different, whichever way, but there you go. So if you have a Nissan hard body and you need a fusible link, that's the solution. So, yeah. Now, I've read on some forums, people who have uh, just cut it all out and put fuses in, breakers in, and there's a lot of people that recommend against that because the fuse and the breakers don't have the same characteristics as a fusible link. But one day, one day when there isn't any available, somebody's gonna have to find that solution and, and perfect it if there's still Nissan hard bodies at that time. So, anyhow, all right. That's all I have for the video. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions about your uh, Nissan hard body that uh, I've done, I haven't done a video on everything I've done yet. Um, so there's some things I've done, some things I've found, some fixes I've done and, and made that I haven't done a video on. So uh, I haven't planned on doing them down the line, but you know, uh, it is what it is. So if there's something that I, you know, I might have done, just, you know, leave a comment down in the comment section. Hey, have you ever come across this? Because I might have, and it might've been a quick fix. And I didn't think anything about making a video of it. So leave a comment if you have anything uh, that you'd like to see me show you that maybe I have done. If I haven't done it, I'll leave you, I'll, I'll, I'll reply back. Don't get me wrong. I'll reply and say, yeah, I haven't done that yet. But so anyhow, all right, that's my video. Don't forget, uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, you can check out my other two channels. So yeah, one takes place at the range and the other one is gaming. So uh, if you want to, they're the same name, Citizen Pew, space, yeah, other genre. So anyhow, that's all I have for you. Appreciate you watching the video and y'all have a good day.